science of psychology. What do you know? I know that Minecraft is the best game ever. How do you know that? <laughs> Duh. There are five ways of knowing. We call these epistemologies. Boy, that's a pretentious word. I know, right? Epistemology is just a way of knowing. I know that when I eat non-organic food, it literally destroys my insights. Destroys my insights. Knowing is a strong personal belief that invokes a feeling of certainty. But that doesn't necessarily mean it's true. By the end of this class, I hope that you will know that nothing is certain. That's quite depressing. Yes, yes it is. So how do we come to know or to have that feeling of certainty? There are five epistemologies. Number one, intuition. Two, authority. Three, rationalism. Four, empiricism. Five, the scientific method. Number one, intuition. What is intuition? It's just a feeling that something is true. But how do you know, detective? Because I feel it in my gut. Aye, aye, detective. But it can often be more wrong. Let's say you have 100 white beans and seven red beans in a jar. And in another jar, you have nine white beans and one red bean. And let's say you get this amazing prize for picking a red bean. Which jar would you choose? The one with seven red beans and 100 white beans? Or the one with nine white beans and one red bean? My gut tells me to pick the one with seven red beans. But you'd be wrong, why? Because in the first one, you have a seven out of 107 chance, or a six and a half percent chance of getting a red. Whereas in the second jar, you have a 10% chance of getting a red. Say what? Mind blown, people, you was wrong. See, our intuition tells us, wow, there's so many red beans, I ought to pick that one, but proportionally, it's actually less. So we need to learn to not rely on our intuition. Number two, authority. Authority means you trust someone who knows from their own personal experience. This $5,000 pill will make you lose weight. How do you know? Because Dr. Oz says so. Duh. And much of what we know comes from authority. My doctor says to take one aspirin a day and it will prevent heart disease. My yoga instructor says that if you juice, it will cure cancer. Jenny McCarthy says that vaccines cause autism. We trust authorities because we can't possibly learn everything there is to learn out there. But the authority may be wrong or the authority may not be qualified at all. Jenny McCarthy, seriously, we're taking medical advice from a celebrity? Think about that real hard for a minute. Number three, rationalism. We use reason to make logical conclusions. All presidents must be born in America. Donald Trump is president. Therefore, Donald Trump is an American. Logic and rationalism are based on premises. In this case, the premise is that all presidents must be born in America and that Donald Trump is president. But sometimes the premises are wrong. Let me tell you a little story. We used to raise rabbits. And one time we had a mama rabbit who gave birth to a litter of like eight little baby rabbits. And one day we came out to check on them and the babies were not there. What the heck? Why are the rabbits missing? Okay, think about it. They're in a sealed room. No predators can get in, no predators can get out. I am the only one who has the key. There are no windows, no way in, no way out, but through me. Therefore, the only logical conclusion is the babies disappeared. Yeah, we're talking stranger things. Well, maybe the mom ate her babies. Are you kidding? Rabbits are vegetarians. First mistake. That was my premise. My premise is that rabbits are vegetarians. They never eat meat. But guess what I learned later? It turns out that if mothers are really stressed, they actually will eat their babies. Ew. That's kind of a morbid story, isn't it? Let's use a math example. Euclid, who basically invented geometry, once made one of his premises say that two lines that are not at right angles will eventually intersect somewhere out there. But he wasn't very happy with that premise and neither were a lot of other mathematicians. So some of these other mathematicians decided to substitute that premise with another one. And these geometries, these non-Euclidean geometries, eventually were essential to Einstein developing his theory of general relativity. So again, if your premise is wrong, rationalism ain't gonna do you any good. Number four, empiricism. Empiricism are those things that we come to know through our own five senses. How do you know the sky is blue? How do you know your parents exist? How do you even know if you exist? Cogito ergo sum. 
Translation, I think, therefore I am. And props to the 1% who got my joke. We come to know many things in life because we personally experience them, but even that is flawed. First, we are limited in what we can even experience. Okay, by the show of hands, how many of you have walked on the moon? We never went to the moon, man. It's a big conspiracy. And even our senses can deceive us. You know what I'm talking about. Number five, the scientific method. Well, what, what is it, you ask? The scientific method is systematic observation. Taking records, following certain protocol, maintaining consistency, coupled with rationalism, or specifically inductive logic. But we will cover the scientific method more deeply in the next video. But even the scientific method has its flaws. And honestly, too many scientists think that the scientific method is godlike in its power to answer questions, but really it's pretty flawed. First, not all research questions can be subjected to the scientific method. In other words, it's going to pigeonhole our research agendas and limit the types of things we can investigate. But perhaps the bigger flaw is that it is not immune to human bias. Oh, that's an unfortunate data point that doesn't fit my theory. Let's just toss it out, shall we? So what's your take home message? The take home message is nothing is certain even in science. We need to cultivate a healthy skepticism about what we know. And we need to be aware of how we come to know things and why that may be flawed. So with that, let's review our learning objectives. Number one, the meaning of epistemologies. Epistemologies are different ways of knowing things. Number two, the meaning of knowing. Knowing is a strong personal belief that invokes a feeling of certainty. Know the five epistemologies. Intuition, authority, rationalism, empiricism, and the scientific method. And finally, know the limitations of each. Intuition can be wrong. Rationalism can be based on false premises. Authority, the authority might be wrong, or the authority might not be an expert at all. Empiricism, we can be deceived by our five senses. And the scientific method does not overcome the limitations of human bias. So with that, we'll see you next time.